Now this, we love seeing one of our stories come full yep. circle. Four years ago this month, the pandemic really started to kick in. Sadly, so many people died or got sick, businesses closed, and jobs were lost. It's crazy to think it's been that long, yeah. but now we get to share an incredible follow-up. We check back in with the so-called Creve Hall bagel guy who delivered bagels to pay the bills. Alexander Cohen caught up with him today as his success is now going to the next level. Let's take this guy out too, okay? <laughs> Ben's bagel business was born out of his love for sourdough. You can use your fingers. You think you can do it? During the pandemic, okay. I met Ben when he lost his job. To make ends meet, he made bagels at home that he sold to his neighbors. By 7 a.m., like you're done and you're going out to the car and you're driving around and by 9 a.m. you're home and you're taking a nap and then by 10 you're up and parenting and it's crazy. Like so? Now fast forward four years later, his kitchen is a bit bigger. This is like the my most fun place, most fun time. Got Moraine and Lindsay rocking the tarts over here. He now has a brick and mortar, Creve Hall Bagel Co. It's more than I could have ever imagined. Truly, like, truly, truly. In 2020, the state basically closed down. People weren't supposed to gather in groups bigger than 10. So he did to-go bagels. People would come to the window and get bagels just like this. Oh, this is so good this morning. This family has been loyal customers since the beginning. The kind of soft, chewy bread and then like the crunch on the outside. There's, there's no bagel that I have ever tasted that has the type of flavor and texture that, that Ben has created here, for sure. They have coffee too. And now something new is on the horizon. Grasping as hard as I can at something very scary is the appropriate way to sort of describe what's going on here. Ben's working to open their second bagel shop. Very nervous every single day. <laughs> their family used to live in Inglewood, so it only makes sense to open it there. So saying, oh, I'm the guy, I'm the guy really wasn't true at the time, but then you start thinking, it's like, well, if you don't do this, someone else is going to. Ben won't forget his humble beginning making bagels. Reporting in Creve Hall, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5.